In this demo, we will show a quick example of Tabular Editor and Azure DevOps working together. Within Tabular Editor, once you develop the model, you can do file, then save to folder. This will break the model into a lot of small JSON files, as you can see, and you want to check that folder into a Git repo. In here, we're using Azure DevOps repo. And once we have the code in the repo, the first thing we want to do is to um, do a CI pipeline. And the first step is to download Tabular Editor using PowerShell. Then we, we want to use, is to use command line to run a command to run best practice analyzer using the rules that we defined in this JSON. And then we will build the model. This is a simple example. In reality, you might want to do more tests such as schema checks or validate um, the deployment itself. And once we build the model, we publish it to the build artifacts. And in the log of this build pipeline, you can see that best practice analyzer gave us a lot of different warnings on the things that we can fix in the model itself. If the violations are more severe, um, it will actually error out the build pipeline. And once we have the build pipeline, we can run a release pipeline. Again, the first step is to download Tabular Editor. Um, in reality, you might want to have additional steps here to, for instance, swap out the connection string before you deploy to the target environment. But in this instance, we will just deploy to the new environment using command line again. And here we're using a Power BI connection string, which is stored in variables. You could use variable groups and integration with key vaults to do that. You should also use environmental variables um, to reflect different connection string to different environments. And you want to keep this safe because your service principal connection is reflected in this connection string. And once we go over and see the logs of this release pipeline, you can see that Tabular Editor did a metadata deployment into our target premium workspace. And you then will need to go and refresh the data and update the connection string um, in the target workspace.